EMG uh, is a two-part test, the nerve conduction studies and the needle EMG. And the, ne the nerve conduction studies, what we do is we check the integrity of the nerves. We put a couple little leads on the nerves depending on what nerves we're checking in the upper or the lower extremities. Uh, once we uh, do the test, uh, gives the information that it gives us is whether or not is there a pinched nerve uh, somewhere in the distribution of the nerve that we checked, uh, also uh, where the injury is at, and also what the prognosis is. The needle EMG component is, uh, what we do is a small needle, kind of like an acupuncture needle, and we check a couple of muscles out to see if there's any muscle damage related to uh, the nerves. The test is very important because it helps the hand specialist determine what kind of treatment they're gonna do if there is uh, a nerve injury in the upper extremity, and it will also help the spinal surgeon whether or not do they need surgery based on uh, the findings that we uh, find on the examination. A reason for ordering an EMG uh, would be if someone has numbness, uh, tingling, or pain in the upper or lower extremities. Uh, also, if there's any kind of weakness or atrophy or muscle loss in the upper or lower extremities. The most common study that we do is for carpal tunnel uh, or uh, for a radiculopathy or a pinched nerve in the upper uh, or lower extremities. The EMG can also be used to uh, look for ALS or, uh, or neurologic conditions. So this information is, is very helpful for our upper extremity specialists and again for the uh, spinal surgeons. When we walk people through, they usually tend to tolerate the procedure very well. With regards to complications with an EMG, there's really hardly any complications or, or risk with the EMG. Uh, if there's an active infection going on, we'll save, uh, we'll hold off and do the EMG on, on a different day. There might be a little bit of bruising associated with the needle component, and again, a lot of it's more of a discomfort with uh, with the needle component and the uh, nerve conduction portion. But like I said before, we really walk the patients through every step so that uh, there's no surprises at all during the procedure. An EMG will take a, roughly around 15 to 20 minutes depending on uh, the test results. Once we start doing the examination, if we start finding some abnormal findings, it might take a little bit longer, uh, but in general it takes about 15 to 20 minutes.